Hi, I'm Peter Kanström of Kanström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll start building the enterprise-ready phone messages application. First of all, I need to go to my content type hub. That's where I'm going to create my content type and my site columns so that they will be distributed across my entire Office 365 SharePoint tenancy. So I'll do that by going to any site except the first one because that doesn't have scripting enabled. So I can't really see my content type publishing there or my content types at all. So I'll go to the IT site and find the content type publishing and there I'll find my content type hub. And once I'm in the content type hub, which I've renamed so that it doesn't say home there, then I'm going to go in and follow that so that I can always find it easily in my sites list here. There you go. There's my content type hub so I can easily find my way back to it. Now I'm going to go into site settings of that site and then I'm going to start creating my content type. And I'm going to start by creating a new content type. And that's going to be called the Contoso phone messages. A phone message is a singular because it's a definition of what information do I need to store about one phone message. And that's going to inherit from the list content types and the item content type. So that means that I only get the single title field included. And I'm going to put that in a new group. I'm going to call that Contoso. It's always a good idea to put all your content types in one group. Then I'm going to start defining this and I'm going to do that from new site columns. And I'm going to have the um, name. I'm going to create a name field here uh, of caller. I can't use the just the column name name because that's already taken so I can't create a new site column with that name. So name of caller is fine. I'm going to do single line of text. I'm going to put that in a new group. Right, and the default here is update all content types. So that's very important, of course. We're going to keep that. Name of caller, and I'm going to add from a new site column, person called, called is enough. And I can put that in the description. I'm going to put that in my group, the Contoso group, and that's going to be a person or group type of column. Like that, uh, and then we add that, okay. And finally, we are going to add a new site column, which is call return. That's going to be a yes, no field. Put that in the Contoso group again and change the default value to no, of course. Now, all these uh, columns are added. Uh, I cannot change the title field because that will actually change it in the entire tenancy. I don't want to change the name of the title field for everybody. So now I've created it in my content type hub. And the only thing that I'm going to do now is go in and publish this because now I've defined the information. Now I'm going to publish it so that it becomes available in every site collection in your entire Office 365 tenancy. So that I do by going into manage publishing for this content type. and. If you can't see that, then you're probably not in the content type hub. So I'm going to go there and publish this and just press OK. And after a while, in Office 365 you have no control over how long, but after a while you can go to your other sites, such as the HR site for example, and then go into site settings and find the site content types. As you see, there is no Contoso group here, but if I wait, for a while until the next demo, then it should show up here also. I can also see under site settings here under the content type publishing, which content types are being subscribed and eventually they'll show up here, but it will take a while and you can't push the frequency of that. So that's one of the challenges that of doing it enterprise ready and using a content type hub, you do have to wait for your changes to be pushed out through the organization. So that shows you how to create a new content type in the content type hub and also how to publish it. In the next demo, we're going to start using my content type in the HR site. Thank you for watching this demonstration.